It might seem too early in the year to be planning my 2023 Halloween and Christmas slideshows, but that's exactly what I've been doing. My name's Andrew, and in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through everything I purchased from Holiday Coro's pre-sale for 2023, and talk you through what I plan to use those items for, as well as some of the other goodies in my show. Let's jump into it. So one of my favorite things that I ordered from the pre-sale this year was the new brains for my show. Um, so I ordered one of their ready-to-run controllers, um, specifically this one here with 16 SPI outputs and their four-port long-range uh, flex expansion board. Um, so this will all come pre-built, installed in the enclosure with the glands, everything wired together, uh, pigtails labeled for all of their respective outputs. When I ordered this, I had uh, two configuration options. One was the CPU that I wanted, and the second was the voltage. I went specifically with the Hinx Pro CPU without the SD card. I have enough SD cards lying around, so that wasn't gonna be an issue for me. And then I chose to go with uh, a 12 volt, 350 watt power supply from Meanwell. All of the pixels I already have are 12 volt, and so just for consistency's sake, whether I have to replace a strand or whatever it may be, I'm sticking with 12 volts. The next thing I purchased was one of their 16 port expansion boards. So this is one of their smart long range receivers, which means you can daisy chain multiple of them together without the need to go back to the original flex expansion board from the main controller where your CPU is. I went back and forth on getting this 16 port version versus multiple of their four port versions several times. And what it really came down to for me was just the density of props I'm going to have in my yard. Uh, the density is going to be much greater this year, so lots more props, a lot closer together. Um, so don't really need to have uh, multiple four port controllers, either two of them together, so eight ports or multiple of the four ports just uh, thrown across the yard. One thing to note about this expansion board that I purchased is that I just purchased the expansion board. I did not purchase an enclosure for it, a power supply for it. I will just be receiving the board itself along with the 16 pigtails. Now I plan to make my own custom enclosure for this, probably reusing a cable uh, box that I bought last year and custom made for a dig quad um, and then retrofitting this inside that because I've got more than enough room. Moving on now to the fun stuff, the pixels that I bought for my show. So these are 12 volt, uh, 50 node strings with six inch spacing. I'm a big fan of not having to solder when I'm pushing pixels through a prop. And so if that means I have a little bit of excess cabling on the back, uh, that's something I am more than willing to work through um, because it puts fewer points of failure into my props uh, when I have to do custom soldering myself. So. I bought 12 of these six inch spacing, 50 node strings, and I plan to probably use these in a large witch's hat over my garage at Halloween, as well as two of the singing C9 bulbs offered from Boscoyo Studios, just the smaller version there, they're 30 inch. Next, I got 20 of these three inch spacing, 50 node, 12 volt strings. 16 of these have already been allocated to a 180 degree 10 foot mega tree that I plan to build. So didn't need the six inch spacing there. Um, we probably will do two inch spacing um, up the tree. And so just a little bit of slack at the back there. So 16 of 20 strings will be allocated for that. And then the remaining four strings, I don't know. We'll see what we can find to do with those. Next are uh, eight of these 100 node strings. These are 12 volt three inch spacing, but what's special about these is that they have a 10 foot extension on the front of them. Uh, so there's no need to do an extension cable from your controller immediately to the strand of lights. You've got 10 feet of leeway uh, to plug a prop straight in, no extension cords needed. One thing to note about these pixels though is that they do not have a, uh, I believe it's female end. Uh, they only have the the male end. Uh, here, there's no female end where you could extend this to another 50, 100, or however many pixels. It's 100 and done with these strands. So for these, I'll probably do some spiders, like the, the spiders from Tom that George designed in uh, collaboration with Boscoyo Studios. Those are 99 pixel spiders, so these will be a nice 
uh, fit in there. And then I might also do maybe a few mega trees or um, a few mini trees, excuse me. Uh, just quickly plug in 100 pixels to those and have a quick easy prop for the yard. Next, I bought 16 of these 10 foot X Connect extension cables. These will probably be used for my mega tree uh, because the pixel strands that I plan to use just have a three inch ends on them. Uh, that's not gonna be enough to reach to the, the controller with the 16 SPI outputs. And so I've bought 16 of these 10 foot cables so that the ends of each of the strands on the mega tree have 10 feet of slack to get to my controller. Second to last thing I got were these 20 foot extension cables. Uh, just bought four of them with no real purpose in mind, but you can never have too many of these cables laying around. Uh, last but not least, I bought two additional 350 watt 12 volt meanwhile power supplies with the uh, AC input cord included in both of those. One of those will go to power that 16 port expansion board that I bought. And the other one, I'm not entirely sure yet, but uh, may also beef up uh, one of the existing power supplies I used from my 2022 show and replace it with this one. So that's it for everything I bought from Holiday Coro's pre-sale. Uh, the other thing I'm adding to my show this year, and it's not a pixel, it's not a prop, it is a moving beam. So I've already purchased it, got it in, have been playing with it. This is a 100 watt moving head beam from Yuking. Bought it on Amazon. I think it was originally around $170 and there was a $35 coupon. So I purchased this moving head. I plan to use the DMX output that is on my controller to run this directly. Now, I also purchased a uh, adapter cable that will go in from the XLR input, the DMX XLR input. Um, straight to an RJ45 connector and then I can just run a 50 foot you know cat5 cable between the controller and this and have full control over this uh, during my show and I'm super excited about that. I've still got a lot to plan for my 2023 Halloween and Christmas shows but I am super excited to have placed this order early so that I'm not waiting for things at the end of the year. Still may go back and forth between a few of the Coro props that I buy but uh, for the most part, this is what I am doing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Catch you later.